Our final five-minute presenter this afternoon is Dr. Shi Shung Sheng, discussing the effect of unstable sling exercise training for a long jump athlete with lumbar spondylolisthesis, a case report. Dr. Shung, Shi Shung Sheng hails from the National Taiwan Sport University, Taiwan, Taiwan. Thank you for having me here. Um, my name is Shi Chong Chen. I'm delighted to share with you my experience working with the coach and his long jump athlete with the lumbar spondylolis thesis. Um, spondylolis thesis is quite common in the middle age uh, patient between 40 and 50 years old and with degenerative, degenerative type. Um, but in athletes, it's also quite common um, with those athletes involved with gymnastics, high jump, weight lift, and javelin, and um, also long jump athletes who need to uh, extend their trunks uh, in their exercise. Um, this patient is a 21 years old male long jump athlete uh, who has got a grade one spondylolisthesis. Uh, it's an isthmic, isthmic type with a scotty dog sign, L L5 of both sides. Um, in, when he came to the university sports clinic, um, he has got an abnormal posture with lumbar lordosis, short foot flat face in his gait pattern, some muscle tightness and hypertonic uh, on, in, on his uh, back muscles and localized pressure pain at both sides during palpation examination and also localized pain uh, could be induced during one leg hyperextension hyper test. No radiating pain or numbness in the lower limbs. Um, we have done some tests before and after his physical uh, therapy program. Uh, we, do, we did lumbar stability test and proprioception test, low deal reach test and some questionnaires. Um, for the stability test and proprioception test, we put a we use a device with an air chamber just below the lower lumbar um, to, and ask the patient to uh, control his lower uh, lumbar spine and lift his one leg and down to see the change uh, of the pressure in the air chamber. And a low reach test, we ask him to hold a stick in, fr in, a, at a, in front of him and at the shoulder level with 5% uh, of his, uh, with a sandbag of 5% uh, of his weight. And some questionnaire is about uh, how this pain can affect his daily life. And we can also compare his long jump performance um, with the last one uh, before he came to us and the first one after his rehabilitation program. He, um, the data shows he all improved. Um, we particularly asked him um, uh, to do some, uh, to, to be kosher uh, only when he had got no pain during trunk hyperextension in everyday life and no pain during long jump performance and no pain during weight training and also running for more than 20 minutes then he can return to regular training. Um, sorry. And this is how we do it. Um, you know, we, the exercise program can be separated into two stages. Stage one, we have taught this uh, athlete how to uh, control his core stability. And this is for three sets. Um, every set is 10 repetitions twice a week for eight weeks. In the second stage, we, got a, we gave him more advanced uh, training program is twice a week for half a year. Thank you.